something double digit value. <laughs> Hello, West Lane. How's it going? I'm Mr. Ramirez. And I'm Mr. Brewer. Welcome to another episode of Last Week at West Lane. It's been a minute, Mr. Brewer. I know. I'm back in the chair. I'm feeling good about myself. Thanks to all the kids and, and adults that have filled in for us. And thanks, everyone, for watching this season because we only have two episodes left. This yeah. episode and the one next week. Then it's the end of the school year, guys. Yeah, and we're super proud of all the support we've gotten from the West Lane community, students, staff. So thank you guys for helping making this show as successful as it can be. Appreciate that. You know that. what else we're super proud of? What's that? All the test takers. We got Eiler knocked out, mm -hmm. NWA knocked out, finals knocked out. Yeah, in fact, our first segment, we're going to take a look at some Paul shout outs related to Eiler. I want to give a shout out to my testing group. They're doing a wonderful job and they're all working really hard. All right, I would like to do a pause shout out to the testing group of Campbell, Campbell and Sutton for working hard and staying quiet and respectful to all their peers. Keep up the good work, eighth graders. All right, I'd like to give a shout out to Cecilia Gudermas because her computer didn't work the first day of iLearn and she sat there and uh, drew for a while and sat patiently. So give a shout out to her for doing a good job. I'd like to give a pause shout out to Emmy Bunch who's coming every day ready to work. I'm giving a shout out to my iLearn testing group because they all come in prepared and they're ready to go and they're quiet and working the whole time and respectful of others when they finish before them. Hi, I'd like to give a paw shout out to the entire West Lane staff and student body for hanging in there and doing a great job through iLearn. Thanks to all the teachers, all the students and mm -hmm. admin and counselors and aides that helped out with all these testing situations and you guys we made it so great job we're yeah. proud of you hey mr brew what's next okay i got a joke for you, you ready sure why are frogs always so happy why because they can eat whatever bugs them all right so he'd be very good at this let's see how miss sheridan and mr miller do in the try not to laugh challenge oh. What does a cloud wear under his raincoat? I don't know. Thunderwear. Thunderwear. Why did they quit giving tests at the zoo? Why? Because it was full of cheetahs. Cheetahs. What did the traffic light say to the car? I don't know. Don't look, I'm about to change. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Why is a bad joke like a dull pencil? Hmm. Because it has no point. What did the fisherman say to the magician? Pick a cod, any cod. Cod, I like that. COD. Where do polar bears keep their money? In a snowbank. What did the snowman say to the other snowman? What did he say? Uh, do you smell carrots? <laughs> That's pretty good. I'd, I'd laugh at that. <laughs> I'd laugh at that, but I didn't laugh at it. I'd, I'd laugh, laugh at it. Ooh, what room can no one enter? A locked room. A mushroom. <laughs> I like that one. Nice. Why can't Cinderella play soccer? Why? Because she's always running away from the ball. Oh, I thought maybe because she's a fiction character. <laughs> what kind of key can never unlock a door? A broken key. Or a monkey. Ah, uh, I see what you did there. I like that one. Nice little play on words there. What music frightens balloons? It's pop, isn't it? It's pop music. All right, why do graveyards have a fence? You know this one. Why? Because people are dying to get in. <laughs> <laughs> that one I'm actually laughing at. I like that one. How does Darth Vader like his toast? 
I don't know. On the dark side. I'll bet he does. I like that. What did the cheerleader say to the ghost? Boo. Show some spirit. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why did the golfer wear two pairs of pants? In case he got a hole in one. You I've, looked at my card. I've been a dad for too long. I know most of these. What did one eye say to the other? I see you. Between you and me, something smells. <sighs> Very nice. Those were some good jokes. I liked them. I tried not to laugh that whole time. I just couldn't do it. Yeah, you were not successful. I couldn't do it. Too many laughs. Hey. Yeah. Since we're ready for the end of the year, mm -hmm. we got a couple of things coming up. So we have two commercials to show you, and I wanted to talk to you guys about the auction that we have coming up on May 21st. So there's going to be a pause auction on May 21st where you can bring all of the pause that you've earned, mm -hmm. and you can spend them on a bunch of goods. There will be a lot of announcements made with what goods, what type of things we will have, but just know, make sure you keep track of them, make sure you know where they're at. Yeah, so as you're cleaning out those binders and lockers, Keep a hold of those paws. You can still use them. Yep. On top of that, the next day, May 22nd, it's going to be a Wednesday, it's the Day of Good. Yeah, third annual Day of Good in honor of Mr. Adam Goodman. He was a good friend of mine, good friend of Mr. Ramirez. He was a great West Lane teacher and former student. I think we got a video here to show you why we celebrate the Day of Good and why it's so special to West Lane. Westline Middle School's Day of Good was created in honor of a former student and teacher who did those little bits of good every day, Adam Goodman. Each event throughout the day represents a way in which Mr. Goodman gave bits of good to his Westline family that overwhelmed us all, and we want to give that little bit of good back to you. This day is also an annual fundraiser for the Adam Goodman Avid Scholarship offered through our district's Advancement Center. This is awarded to a North Central Avid senior each year to support their goal toward college success. Because Mr. Goodman would dress up and get into character for his students, the Westlane teachers do the same in a lip sync battle. Because Mr. Goodman was the king of compliments, each advisory will participate in a special CPR to celebrate and compliment each other on a great year. Because Mr. Goodman always gave his time running dodgeball at Open Gym, we host the ultimate dodgeball showdown, students versus staff. And because Mr. Goodman never forgot what it was like to be in middle school, everybody gets spa with their grade level peers. You can give back this little bit of good by participating positively throughout the day. Listen to announcements for ways to donate. So, now that we know why we're doing the Day of Good, mm -hmm. it's time to hype you guys up and get you excited for this mm -hmm. day. So we have a trailer that will show you all of the things that we can do on the Day of Good. Let's check it out.
So are you planning on doing another like lip sync? Nah, two's two's a good number for me. Two, you're done and you yeah, tapped out after I two. So. All right, well it was pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. But Wesleyan, if you would like your favorite teacher to win the lip sync contest, or if you want to put a pie in one of your teacher's faces, or if you want to get some snacks throughout the day, bring that money. All proceeds are going to go to the Adam Goodman Scholarship. There's going to be Kona Ice, shaved ice mm -hmm. on the spa time that we have. It's going to be great. Oh, yeah, and the Color Wars, guys, if you want to get a T-shirt with the Adam Goodman Scholarship to help the proceeds of that, bring your money and or form by Tuesday. Absolutely no exceptions. And if you don't know what we're talking about, ask your advisory teacher, and they'll help you out. All right, I think that's it. All right, guys. Well, we we'll got one more after week. this. Yep, one more. Last week. Hang in there, guys. Double digit value.